In the aviation industry, snowfall intensity is one variable used to determine the length of time de-icing and anti-icing fluids are effective in absorbing contamination on aircraft surfaces, resulting from winter precipitation. This duration is also known as holdover time, and it varies by fluid, precipitation type, precipitation rate, and temperature. Pilots use visibility tables provided by regulators such as Transport Canada and the Federal Aviation Administration to determine snowfall intensity. There are four snowfall intensity categories, very light, light, moderate, and heavy. This video illustrates the four snowfall intensity categories from three different perspectives. This perspective illustrates the daytime view typically seen when looking across an airport or down a runway. In lighter snowfall intensities, individual snowflakes are difficult to see. In heavier snowfall intensities, individual snowflakes can be seen, and this results in a decrease in lighting and visibility. Note that a building beyond the end of the road can be seen, and many telephone poles are visible on the left side of the road. In very light snow, the building beyond the end of the road is no longer visible. However, most of the telephone poles are still visible. In light snow, visibility has decreased slightly, and several of the telephone poles are no longer visible. In moderate snow, visibility has decreased and fewer light poles are still visible. In heavy snow, visibility has decreased substantially and only three light poles are visible. This perspective illustrates the view typically seen while looking at an aircraft hangar, maintenance building, or aircraft terminal. Even in lighter snowfall intensities, individual flakes are easily seen, especially if the building is dark. This perspective illustrates the view typically seen when looking at an aircraft surface.
When snow falls at temperatures close to zero degrees Celsius, the snowflakes are often wet and will accumulate quickly on a surface. Wet snowflakes are typically large and contain more water than the dry snowflakes that fall at colder temperatures. Because they contain more water, wet snowflakes are easier to see through and therefore snowfall intensity appears to be lighter. In this example, the wet snow looks lighter than the dry snow, but the wet snow and dry snow are falling at the same intensity. In summary, for a given visibility, the intensity of wet snow is greater than that of dry snow. Transport Canada and the Federal Aviation Administration provide guidance in the form of a visibility table that incorporates a correction for wet snow.